What is up guys? We are back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Asus ROG Crosshair 8 Extreme motherboard. Now we've done a full overview video of this board, which I'll go ahead and have linked in the description below. But basically this motherboard supports five M.2 drives out of the box, which is really impressive, especially for a mainstream, you know, motherboard. Um, the issue is, is that not all of these M.2 slots are enabled by default. So if you're somebody like me, you know, when I went to review this motherboard, I wanted to load it up with M.2 drives and two of them were not uh, shown in the BIOS. I was like, why aren't my drives being detected? Are these drives broken? Like I was kind of scrambling and, you know, wondering what was going on. But the issue was, is that the bottom two M.2 drives on the board actually share their PCI Express lanes with the actual PCI Express slots on the motherboard. So basically you have to go into the BIOS and enable those two bottom slots. So we're gonna jump into this BIOS and show you just how to do that. So here we are in the ASUS BIOS. And if you're wondering, how do I get to the screen? How do I get to this BIOS? What you wanna do is keep on hitting the delete key on your keyboard, just keep on hitting it and you'll be dropped right here into the BIOS. And it's not the backspace, it is the delete key. So that's how you get into the BIOS. And because this is an extreme board, you should be dropped into the advanced mode, what you see here. Um, but if you're not for some reason, you can hit F7. Um, you know, your easy mode would look like this if you were some somehow dropped into easy mode. Um, you hit F7 and that takes you to the advanced mode. And from advanced mode, you wanna go over to the advanced tab and then down to onboard devices configuration. And then in this menu, we go down to CPU PCIe configuration mode. By default, it's set to PCI Express 16.1 and PCI Express 16.2. That enables both PCI Express slots on your board. So to enable our two bottom M.2 drives, we have two options. The first option is PCI Express 16.1, PCI Express 16.2, and M.2.3. That is gonna enable the most bottom M.2 drive or M.2 slot on the board and then it's gonna cut the lanes on the second PCI Express slot in half. So you're gonna go from eight lanes down to four lanes. So that's an option if you wanna enable just the bottom slot. Now, if you wanna enable all of the M.2 drives or the bottom two M.2 drives or M.2 slots, sorry, on the motherboard, you select PCI Express 16.1 plus M.2.2 and M.2.3. This is gonna fully disable your second PCI PCI Express slot, but it will fully enable the bottom M.2 slot. So that's what, if you wanted to fully load this uh, motherboard up with drives, that's what you would go ahead and do. So we need to save this. Um, you know, the short, the shortcut is F10. Um, because I've already have this saved, it's not gonna ask me to save. So just hit F10 and it's gonna show your change, hit save, and then you're good to go. Or if you wanted to, you can just go over to exit save changes and reset and you'll be good to go. So that is it guys, super simple and to the point, you know, just enabling those two bottom two M.2 slots. Now we do have a full overview video of this board going over all of its features, as well as a full BIOS walkthrough video. So going over basically all of the options in the BIOS as well. I will have those linked below, but if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next video.